What is up, everybody? Wet Lighting HUD here, back with another video, and today we will be checking out Lord Luis, aka this Town Hall 9 beast right here. And he is at a 46 39 cup, so he's way up in the Titans, too. This guy's whooping ass right now. And uh, speaking of whooping ass, he whooped the ass of a Legends League player. This guy, this Town Hall 9, attacked a Legends League Town Hall 11 player. And uh, it was actually pretty awesome. So let's go check out that replay right now, guys. This is Town Hall 9 versus Legends League player. Okay, so here it is, guys. The Town Hall 9 versus Legends League player replay. Uh, as you can see, Lord Luis will be going in on the top right of the side of the base, right on the side of the base, and he'll put down the Earthquake and two Lightnings to take out that air defense, and then he'll do the same thing to the air defense on the top left side of the base. There goes the Earthquake and then two Lightnings. So basically what his strategy is, now this is for all my Town Hall 9s trying to trophy push, what his strategy is is that he'll take out two air defenses and then use a Dragon to distract and then put a couple of Balloons down to take out those Archer Towers. Um, it's, it's like Surgical Dragon. That's what it is. It's Surgical Dragon. Back in my day, we did Surgical Balloonian, and that's how you trophy push as a Town Hall 9. Nowadays, it's Surgical Dragon. So he's going to attempt to take out that, uh, what, Eagle Artillery. Uh, but unfortunately, those Teslas are going to take down the Balloons before they can actually get the Eagle Artillery down. So he's going to have to worry about the Artillery firing upon his Dragons. But it's okay, because it only does triple damage against the Fat Rock Monster Golem. So he will put two Balloons on that right side, and those Balloons will take out that Archer Tower. Uh, which will give him a little bit more slack, a little bit more extra buildings. So his dragons can undetected take out more percentage points for him so he can grab that 50%. Because as a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 11, it's very hard to get 50%. So this was, a, this was a pretty stressful raid for him. So he will put some dragons on the top right. He'll put in a Hound and a Loon on the left side of the base along with a couple dragons. And then uh, basically at this point in the raid, he's just trying his hardest to get 50%. Um, as you can see, he's not like attacking like I do, uh, where he'll just go in like full on force from one side. He spreads the dragons around the base, getting as much percentage as physically possible, and then uh, hoping he can grab that 50%. So his dragons on the left uh, are going to have to go up against all of those clan castle troops, but it's going to be okay because they'll take them out no problem, along with a couple more buildings. And he'll put the king in on the right side of the base, and the barbarian king will be able to take out a lot of percentage. Actually, he'll throw the queen down pretty soon here too. And there she blows! There's the Queen. He will use the King's special ability. And the Queen is actually going to be the clutch one here. She will grab that 50%. And uh, nothing more. He's going to end this raid at 50% exactly. So uh, extremely clutch on Laura Luis's part. The queen taking out that building. And then she'll have to use her special ability. She'll grab the cannon. She'll grab the archer tower. And then that is going to be it for the raid. She'll get shot down before she can take out the builder's hut. And she'll go down right there with the 50% in hand. And Lord Luis will take out Malcolm, the Legends League. So guys, this was a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 11 Legends League player and winning. Shout out to Lord Luis. He's a badass. Okay, so as you could all probably see, if you look to the top left of your screen, we are at 4,709 trophies, guys. That is Titans League 1. We made it to Titans League 1. And uh, let's get in 3, 2, 1. Bam! You've been promoted to league level Titans League 1. We are here, guys. This is the last league before Legends. Only one more promotion screen. I'm going to screenshot that until Legends League. We are almost there. Very, very close to the end of our push. And uh, we did get it during a live stream. We got Titans League 1. Uh, during a live stream, and we got, look, three Down on Nine three stars in a row, uh, and a Legends League attack right here. This is our second ever attack on a Legends League player, and we two-starred him for 32 trophies. So let's go, let's go check out the replay on this raid, because it was sick. Okay, so here's the base, guys. This guy was worth 49 trophies, or 47 trophies. Actually, he was 49 minus 7, so this guy had a ton of trophies to offer, and uh, I've attacked this base plenty of times before, so it was easy. So I took out the air defense, top right, and then I'm going to attack from the left side because uh, I'm going against the uh, multi-target Inferno, which is a lot easier. So two dragons on the, on the bottom left, two dragons in on the top. I can't commentate right now. I was actually just commentating for two hours. I just ended a live stream, so I'm sorry if my commentary is a little bit screwed up right now. But there is the Hound and the Loons in right there. I'll drop the Rage Spell to help take out that air defense. And then uh, this raid, like, this is like the perfect funnel. Like, these dragons went perfectly. I'm actually really, really good at attacking this base because um, I've attacked it so much. It's just really, really easy to do for me. So, uh, all the dragons moving in towards the middle. Going to use the Grand Warden's ability right there uh, just to kind of help out every single troop I got. And then I will drop a Rage Spell. Actually, I'll drop a Free Spell on the Inferno, that single target Inferno, and the Air Sweeper because the Air Sweeper's a bitch and it's pushing all our uh, dragons away. And then I'll drop a Rage Spell right there and then all the dragons moving towards the center, taking out those little Larrys, the little skeletons in the middle, and then they will lock onto that Town Hall perfectly. I've got like five dragons on the Town Hall. They'll melt that thing down in seconds. And then uh, they will also grab the 50%, or almost grab the 50%. Uh, actually, will they? I don't know, guys. Will they get it? 48%, 49%. Do it, dragons. Do it, dragons. Okay, the dragons aren't going to quite get the 50%. Oh, no. Okay, the dragons are dead. 
And I'm at 49. I'll throw the king and queen at the top of the base. And there's the 50. This is our second ever attack on a Legends League player. And we will get him two stars for 32 trophies. So this was definitely an awesome raid. And uh, I was muy proud of it. At this point of the raid, I was flipping shit and stream. You can go watch uh, the replay live on Camcord if you are like really interested in watching me attack this live. Uh, but it was definitely a good attack. And I whooped his ass. So I, I want to apologize this guy for taking like 32 trophies. That was kind of fucked of me. But hey, it's whatever, man. I'm trophy pushing too. And I'm going to end battle there. And that is going to be a total of 32 cups. We beasted this guy, guys. That's 32 trophies in our pocket for 60% on the second Legends League player we've ever attacked. And that was a pretty dope raid right there. Okay, so if you guys thought that was a lucky raid, check this out. Immediately after I found this, like, 47 offer uh, Legends League player, I found this guy, a Town Hall 9 worth 18 cups. And I three-starred him, and then I three-starred two other Town Hall 9s. Why? Because I'm a dick. But, I mean, I, hey, shit happens, man. I give him a free shield for 18 cups. It wasn't really free. But, okay. So, he does have an anti-three-star base, which, uh, you know, if I was a Town Hall 9, uh, this would be an issue. But, since I'm a big, bad Town Hall 11, uh, whooping this base's ass was absolutely no problemo. So, I put down the Earthquake and the two Lightnings right there on that uh, air defense and took that out of the way. And then, luckily for me, there's only one Archer Tower on this side of the base, on this entire side of the base. And then, all the other Archer Towers and uh, the, uh, what are these fucking things? Air defenses are all on the right side of the base. So, I had absolutely no problem attacking this base. I didn't use my clan castle. Um, I waited until like the end of the raid to use my loons. I think I put down my king and queen pretty early though. Uh, or a little bit earlier than I usually do just so that they could help take out those air defenses. Yeah, there they go. Okay, so the king and queen in on the right side. And I was really hoping that they could get in and get at least one of those air defenses out of the way. Um, but it's whatever. So, okay, there's the uh, first rage spell down. I uh, threw a free spell down on the, uh, what is this? The uh, fucking, the air sweeper and the expo and that air defense. And then I'll throw down another rage spell on those dragons to help get in. And I will use the uh, Grand Warden special ability because he was getting shot up by those air defenses. And he will go down. Rest in peace, Grand Warden. He is dead. Uh, but it's okay because our troops are moving through this base very, very powerfully. And they're the balloons. And then so I still have like a ton of dragons left. I got my king, which is, he's, he might die. He's getting close to dying. Uh, and then I got my full health queen with her special ability used and only a couple buildings left in this space. So as you can see, this space wasn't too hard of a base to raid because the three star is right. Oh, there it is, guys. That is 100%. Uh, right there and that was for 18 trophies now a 10 trophy gain is a really good raid So 18 trophies on a really really easy three star was an awesome very very lucky raid to find and uh, that was uh, that was my three star that might and that's going to about wrap it up for today's video, guys. I know that it wasn't like an official Trophy Push video, but we did get to 4714, which is pretty awesome. We're moving through the ranks, and uh, actually 4750 is our trophy record, so we are about to beat our all-time best, which is kind of cool, and then move on towards the Legends League. So that is uh, that was today's video, guys. Now let's get to today's comment question of the day. Okay, so today's comment question of the day is by Brendan Dickey, and the question is, who out of the squad is your bestie? It's Steven, isn't it? Lol. Uh, by the way, you literally make my day watching your videos while I'm happy I make your day. And actually, funny you asked this question because to my left, you guys have to come a little bit closer. I do have both Steven and Dylan. Yeah, motherfuckers, this is my the third video so far. Yeah, so we've had, actually had a lot of really, you know, friend-based comment questions of the day. The last, like, what, like three videos have been, like, squad yeah. comment questions. You guys have to, like, when I say getting closer, you guys got, like, my distance. Right, getting, like, real central-like. Real central-like. Yep. So, okay. um, Steven... How is Squad? Who is Squad? Uh, who are squad's you? more of a myth. Um, <laughs> who am I? I'm just a man, you know, passing through the wind like a plastic bag. Um, Waiting to start again? Wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, how would you describe Squad? Uh, there were there were many and now there are a few. <laughs> yeah. But it's still lit. It's yeah. still lit. Yeah, so, oh, well, we got Steven here and we got Dylan. Um, we kind of already gave Squad stories. Actually, Dylan did give a Squad story. Dylan, give your. When did you join Squad? Where were you? Where was your initiation? Ooh, here we go. I, uh, I, I paintballed a Challenger in the driver's side window and almost got us killed. And <laughs> we sped off pretty fast. And it was that was initiation night, bud. Yeah. yeah. So Dylan's actually the most recent member of our of our little squadron of friends. Brandon and I are probably the oldest ones. Yeah, Brand Brandon. <laughs> yeah, wow. Brandon and I are the oldest Squad people. No, Stephen and I are. But uh, yeah, Dylan is one of the newest members, and we are so happy to have a foreign. Australian man on our side. Yeah, you know he actually does sleep upside down like he a does. bat because you know he has to sleep like in the sense of like his own country. Yeah, yeah. He, he sleeps like a bat. Yeah, with his tail. With his tail. His kangaroo yeah. tail. Yeah, actually, Dylan can fight you with his feet while he bounces on his tail. You don't. You wouldn't know that by looking at him. But holy crap, this guy's got some legs on him. Yeah. He's also got a pouch, too. It's I, was a little... say, I was gonna say, it's true, I have a pouch. Yes, he, <laughs> I, actually, like not fucking around here. He's, he is six five, so Dylan's one tall motherfucker. Yeah. I got a pouch. He has a pouch too, apparently. It's great. 
Is it? All right. Well, that yeah. was uh, <laughs> that was today's common question of the day. It sucked. Uh, a <laughs> <laughs> little bit, a little bit of a slow or awkward one, but uh, that was. Thank you to Dylan and Steven for coming by and answering that. If you guys want to give your little outros, I don't know if if, if uh, you know we could hear Dylan because he's so fucking far away. I have an outro. Uh, you could just say goodbye. All right, guys, and this is your boy from Down Under. Remember, <laughs> keep it classy in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> and he is Australian. He's actually he was born I can't, in Australia. I can't one up that. That's about that's brilliant. Come on, turn it over. Steven, Steven Steven's giving up. Well, that was today's comment question of the day, guys. And today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below your comment questions of the day. And that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all. Peace.